1930, John Maynard Keynes predicted that by the beginning of the 21st century, his grandchildren would work just 15 hours a week. He argued that technological change would make us more productive. We could produce the same or greater value of goods and services with fewer hours of work. But even though we have seen huge technological advancement and we have become much more productive, the average worker in the UK still works around 38 hours a week and has done since the early 1990s. Was Keynes wrong in his prediction? The thing is, technology on its own isn't enough to reduce our hours at work. When we become more productive, we can use that to work less or to increase our incomes and how much we buy. Which happens depends on our own choices, but also norms about how much we should work, the availability of part-time and flexible work, as well as whether workers have enough power and income to decide to work less. At IPPR, we argue that technology is not destiny. We have to shape it if we want it to make our lives better. Our current working arrangements, from the 38-hour full-time week to holiday and sick pay, didn't come about by chance. We got there from much longer hours in the 19th century, through campaigning, union bargaining and government policy. What if we could use the productivity gains from automation to work less, as well as to raise pay for the low paid? Reducing working hours could be a good thing for gender equality. Women are still doing most of the unpaid work in the UK, like household chores and caring. Working less could relieve them of the so-called double shift. Making time for family and life outside of work is also an important step in sharing out unpaid work more fairly. That's why we're arguing for a steady reduction in the time we spend at work. We're recommending an increase in annual leave entitlements above the existing full-time entitlement of 28 days. A 2% increase in productivity would be enough for an extra five days holiday every year. Now that seems like a good use of technology.